Hello and welcome from a wet and rainy Nuremberg, Germany for our day three trip video blog from our team that's visiting the Persian diaspora and our brothers and sisters in Christ who have settled all across Europe. I'm Jeremy Churchill. I'm the pastor of New Gilead Reformed Church. I'm also the website specialist for the Outreach Foundation. And we just wanted to update you about some of what went on today, some of what we've seen and uh, the amazing ways in which God has been at work in our midst. Today was a fairly slow day, started with um, some tours around um, Nuremberg, kind of looking at the history of this city where some of our friends have settled, a place that um, they now call home, uh, the place that they're uh, leading churches and uh, making an impact for the kingdom right here on the ground in Nuremberg. So it was great just to see some of the sites understand some of the backstory on how um, we've gotten to this point in history. Um, and so that was just amazing. And then this afternoon we've been focusing with one of our uh, mission partners, one of our pastors who is doing some amazing work in and around Europe and even back to Iran where he came from. Uh, it just touched me so much hearing his story today. Um, to know that he was persecuted uh, for becoming a Christian, uh, got arrested, was in jail for some time uh, in a, a cell that had plenty of bunk, bunk mates to include the likes of mass murderers. So um, you had a pastor who uh, accepted Christianity and then a mass murderer sharing the same cell. And yet he chose to find ways to get the scriptures, the, the gospel, the New Testament into that cell and to be able to speak the name of Jesus to some of these folks and ends up converting several folks from that jail cell. I mean, just amazing ways in which God is working through him. Right now, he's uh, ministering to pastoring um, lots of folks here in uh, Europe and, and the surrounding areas, especially back home in Iran. Um, he's a seminary uh, graduate who's now an ordination candidate with ECO, the Presbyterian denomination that Outreach Foundation works with. Um, he's got a great family, two small kids, extremely busy teaching, doing a lot of Zoom work, uh, uh, raising up pastors and lay leaders to be able to serve within their congregations and their house churches. It's, it's just been an amazing testament to the ways in which God's at work in his life and through his ministry. And we have just loved getting to know him, loved getting to know his family. And uh, it was just great to hear his story today and to see the ways in which the Holy Spirit is working amongst the Persian diaspora all across Europe. We're going to be connecting with other pastors in the next couple of days. We've connected with one already. And it's just really great, uh, a great way for us to get to know them, get to see faces. Um, it's not just a partner of ours, but there are faces that we've seen that really make this um, come alive, this work that our partners are doing come alive. So it's been really great. If you want to learn more about the Persian diaspora and uh, how you might be able to partner with what we're doing here at the Outreach Foundation, reach out to one of our office staff um, back in uh, Tennessee or reach out to Tom Boone um, who connects with them most often, our associate director and uh, they'd be happy to uh, tell you how you and your church might be able to get involved. And our website is a great resource. You can find our uh, partnerships and a little bit about them under our partnerships page. Um, just click on Europe. So we hope these uh, video blogs have been uh, helpful, that you've uh, loved engaging with them, uh, with different people on our team, and we just hope that they've blessed you just like what we have seen here on the ground is blessing us. Have a great night.